So we've got this, and they tell us that g of f of x equals x, and they want us to find g of x. And so we crack this one open when we realize that if g of f of x equals x, it's a fancy way that, of saying that uh, f and g are inverses of each other. When you put x into f, um, and then you take that answer and put it into g, g undoes what f did and spits back out what you put in. So the g and f must be inverses, and we know how to find an inverse. We're just going to do a switch and solve. So all this problem boils down to is a switch and solve, finding the inverse of f of x. So f of x is like y. So when we do our switch, we're going to switch the x and the y. So y will become x, and we'll have e to the 5y plus 6 over 2. This is beautiful algebra undoing from here to solve for the y. So we'll multiply both sides by 2, so we get 2x equals e to the 5y plus 6. Subtract the 6, 2x minus 6 equals e to the 5y. Undo the exponent by taking the log of both sides. And so these will cancel each other out, and you'll just get the ln of 2x minus 6 equals 5y. One last step to solve for y, just divide by that 5. So the ln of 2x minus 6 all divided by 5 equaling y. And that's one of our answers. Let me go find it. It is ln of 2x minus 6 divided by 5. Looks like it's a. They all look kind of similar to each other, but this is the only one that's exact. And that'll do it.